Hey everyone, Justin from Project Icarus Gaming with your quick guide to joining our Arma 3 server. We currently require a few pods to join, so here's the easiest way to actually get into the server. Go ahead and launch Arma 3 straight from Steam. Once this launches, you'll get this uh, Arma 3 launcher. Head down to Servers, head over to Internet, and in here, in the search box, type Project Icarus. You may have to wait a second while the servers populate, which you can see happening here. But once it does, you can click this star to add it to your favorites, so it will always show up in favorites. And you won't have to do this internet search every time. And then click join. From here, you can see all of the mods that are required, and along with some additional mods that you can choose to load if you so wish, but are not required to join. You also might notice that up here that says this is missing DLCs used by this server. That's not actually true. We don't require any DLC to actually join the server. The only thing that's required is these mods here. If you don't have these mods, when you click up set up DLCs and mods and join, this will automatically load the mods if you already have them or B, download them if you don't. So simply clicking up the set up DLCs and mods and join button will automatically launch the game Download the mods if you don't already have them, and also load them on launch. This also sends you directly to the role selection screen inside of our server, so you won't have to navigate the in-game server browser if you launch this way. Some other tidbits about this, while this boots up, you should note that also under the dashboard option of the launcher, uh, there was a units option. From there, you can choose or search for units that you already have. You have to link your Bohemia account to your Steam account, but once that's done, you can join the Project Icarus Gaming uh, unit, and that will also give you another option in the Servers tab uh, to find our server. Uh, other than that, this is it. Once this loads in, you're already into the character selection, or role selection rather, and just choose the available role that you want. And click OK. That's it. You'll download the actual mission. Occasionally we make updates, so you could see this um, every time you launch, uh, but generally uh, once you download this mission file, as long as it doesn't change, once you come into the mission you won't have to do this download either. But that's it. You're in. Hope to see you online.